think about Tupac era. You, we got to talk about that. Uh, when he basically uh, come from prison, y'all, yeah, Jimmy Iovine gets him out. She'll get him out. Who got him out? Uh, 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 he was in prison. Uh, people were going to see him. That was how Are you I'm, saying Jimmy Iovine no, got I'm him out? Asking or you, asking, I'm okay, asking you. Okay. I'm just telling you how my mind. <laughs> you got to say something. <laughs> you said no. Yeah, how do you say no, that? No, no, no. How my mind perceives it from afar is like, she'll got him out, to be honest with you. Ultimately, right now, me and you go out to lunch after this interview. And you buy me lunch, I buy you lunch or whatever. Buy you guys lunch. And I put it on a credit card. Whoever paid for it, that's the person. I'm ultimately responsible for it, right? That's right. Right. That's right. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we going to talk. So whenever um, he gave you the right to, to, to all of that, um, did he give you instructions as into what he wants you to do with Which it? Which I should. Yeah. When I was doing the buyouts from people? No, yeah. When he gave you the rights to all the music and all of the, you know, publishing and all of that, did he say he gave it to you and he'd be like, okay, this is what I want you to do? I don't know. I don't remember that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga been in bankruptcy. I don't remember that conversation if it did. You talking about dad? I'm talking about Shook. Yeah, because, because, because you know, they're I, friends. Let me put they're the friends. devil out of here what she asking. Yeah. She's saying, okay, if he, he told tell you, you to be this, hit the face of it, but really it's mine. Uh, until I until, until I do this X, Y, Z. Yeah. yeah. But then, don't that mean he would have lost that in bankruptcy? Yeah. So why would I ever admit to that? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. How yeah. can you go tell me what conversation me and him had? Mm -hmm. Government, FBI, bankruptcy attorney. Y'all were there? Mm-hmm. That nigga lying now. We know he's a liar. He lied. <laughs> yeah. That's Reggie Rice, 2023 answer. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, See, I didn't think about it in that way, but... It makes yeah, sense. It makes sense. Do, when, you, when you think but about... But me and him good. Yeah, I always look out. Have you? Yeah, ever, you, you gonna do it because you don't see him. I haven't seen him. I just got off probation February the first. Wow, man, you gonna go see him February the first? You can still call him, right? You can't. I contact. can't even talk to a felon. If I knew you had a felony conviction and I do that, that's why I never did a background check or asked you. I technically ain't supposed to talk to you that's without crazy. notifying my probation officer that I'm about to meet with Mr. Jamaica. And she you done did so and much, she, man. Mm. And she done been in jail or in prison for. I don't know nobody back around. I know. <laughs> exactly. I don't know what you right. doing. Prior to makes sense. nine o'clock today. Yeah. I didn't know how you looked, you know, wow. on camera. I didn't know you was as beautiful as you are. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -huh. Hey, let, let me ask you Karen this. Karen don't do justice to you, Mrs. Oh, Jamaica. Man, yeah. nah, they don't it, do justice to you. Watch out, Reggie. We're going to see you. That's why I scoot all the way. Oh, compliment. Oh, 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 compliment. Oh, not I'm just kidding. I respect marriage. I love marriage. man. Um, so when, when, when I think about Tupac era, you, we got to talk about that uh, when he basically uh, come from prison y'all yeah, Jimmy Iovine gets him out she'll get him out who got him out uh, 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 he was in prison uh, people were going to see him that was how are you I'm, saying Jimmy Iovine no, got I'm him out I'm asking you, you, asking, I'm okay, asking you okay. I'm just telling you how my <laughs> you gotta say something you said no yeah, how do you say no, that no 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 how my mind perceives it from afar is like she'll got him out to be honest with you ultimately right now me and you go out to lunch after this interview and you buy me lunch, I buy you lunch or whatever. Buy you guys lunch. And I put it on a credit card. Whoever paid for it, that's the person. I'm ultimately who... responsible for it, right? That's right. right. That's right. And maybe I default on it and don't pay it or whatever. Reggie Wright is still responsible. Right. However it comes, if they decide to sue me, if, if I have to make the payment. Whatever paperwork shows. Whatever happens. And so my point to that is... is However it was done, negotiated, and Shook made it happen. Mm -hmm. He the one made it happen. He put up his name, his company. If I said, okay, which all his deals were, that's why I try to explain it to people. Shook ain't paid for shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> his deal was, we pay for it. You go make it happen. We split it 50-50 after it's done. Mm -hmm. Now, some things hit. Some things he lost up the butt on. Rage. Michelet albums. I'm talking about albums right. and stuff like that. Probably some of the Tupac albums. Who knows? Because a lot of samples was in those songs and stuff like that. Y'all seen how many videos was done in that, that nine month period? Who knew that album All Eyes On Me was going to sell eventually 10 or 11 million, you know, double CDs? Mm -hmm. That's all, the one thing I always wondered. I'm like, did Tupac still have music that has not been released up to today? Well, 
that's debatable. I think most of it's on the internet. I, I know about the trash that I started putting out on the last two or three albums. I was picking through everything that I had access. I was just putting out the best. Right. When I got friends and, and and who do you believe in and all that that I put on, you know, the two the, the two songs that were placed on uh, on uh, on Chronic Two Thousand and um Chronic Two Thousand and, and Two Gangsta for uh, Radio. Mm-hmm. Those were the four you know, the two for those you know, those two on each one. Those were the four songs that was left that hadn't been out that were the best. Uh, M did an album on him since then. I'm sure he got the best out of that. We did Better Days after that. I'm sure they, you know. So my point to all of that is, it ain't like people just holding and saying, hey. Yeah. The only album that he ever been nominated for a Grammy, Changes. That was lyrics from another song. And a dude from the South, I can't think of his name right now, sang on the hook, and Trackmasters did the beat. Mm. And it was on a sample. Wow. Um, so so he comes he comes out of, <coughs> of prison, comes to uh, death row. Were you even around? Oh, yeah. I was I was there when Sugar was going up there to meet with him. I done got in a car but with him. I, because it's funny, I, I interview another guy and he says that you guys took over the security, and two months later, Tupac was dead. I think it's just talking. We was there eleven months. We took over the security. I took over the security during. Uh, the murder was a case album. Okay, I did all yeah, of that. that when was, we that went to New York, on. I'm the one that was over the security for setting up the New York cops and all that for us to go and um, do that that screening of a uh, woman to woman and uh, or the murder was the case. Um, so you was around. video and stuff. I've been around since '94. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.